You also notice the light has an effect on the voltage. I got it set at 200 millivolts. I've got my capacitor hooked up in a parallel with the coil. Uh, my winding, the outer, the large one is uh, 126 turns and the small one is 81 turns. I've done a coated with fire. And I have a thin film of uh, brass guns and a tiny bit, a couple of flakes of TiO2. And uh, the capacitors uh, consist of uh, dried brass guns and uh, parchment paper. And uh, of course, you have the center wire and the coil. And I think the coil is 14 turns. And uh, I have a 20 gauge wire wrapped around the 12 gauge wire, the center wire. I did that so that if I get a hold of the capacitor, I, I don't break any uh, nano coating off the center wire itself. If any comes off, it should come off of the tiny wires. Now here's what happens when I block the LED light that I have on. The voltage should drop when I block the light. Okay, there we go. Then I have the light shining on it. it goes up 27. Okay, block it. Drops. Goes on. Block it. Drops. Voltage goes up when the LED light is shining to it. And uh, here's something interesting. Uh, when I use my L LED light from my other cell phone, the voltage jumps up dramatically. There we go. 4.5. It's, it's crazy. So. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that the LED light is uh, probably uh, not just photons, but uh, uh, probably a form of plasma. Get my LED light really close, the voltage goes way up. It's interesting. And uh, the light, it's not giving off photons by uh, uh, overheated filament. Uh, it's a totally different process. This is an LED. It doesn't use a high resistive wire to emit photons. So I believe the LED light that's emitted is a form of plasma. Take my cell phone light away, voltage drops. Put my cell phone light back on again, L the cell phone LED light. Voltage jumps right up.
Interesting. This kind of reminds me of Tesla's uh, metal plate, flat plate system. <laughs> 